bring you some fancy classy time for the school holidays. Are you excited? I am excited. Yes, yes. We are going to be doing some Oopa Amazing Science! Oopa? No, no Oopa. Super! Super Amazing Science! Yes, yes, better. That is much better. So, seeing as it is around the Easter time, I thought maybe we could do something with some eggs! An eggs spy science experiment! That would be Excellent! I <laughs> is funny. <laughs> now, what we are going to need is some um, boiling hot water. We're going to need quite a bit of it. We're going to need a measuring cup as well. We are going to need a nice sort of clear jar or a clear glass that you can see through. We are also going to need some of the food of the coloring. These little things. I'm sure either your mother or your father or whoever your parental person is might have some lying around. You are also going to need some of the white vinegar. <laughs> Careful not to sniff it, it is quite strong. You are going to also need the bicarb of the soda. Or, if you are an American, the baking soda. But, bicarb is what you are looking for. You are also going to need some small little containers of some description. Or either that or some like plastic bowls that you can mix and everything. You are also going to need some paint brushes. And a teaspoon. to make some egg style. Yeah! <clears throat> yes. Eggs. Yes, egg size. Yes. Where are the eggs? Eggs, eggs, eggs. Eggs! Jimmy, what did you do with the eggs? You gave them to mother. Ah, mother? Have you got the eggs, mother? Thanking you. We now have our eggs. Now, these are special type of eggs, which is why I needed mother's help. They are hard boiled eggs, which is much easier to use for this kind of egg science. Okie okay, So, we are just putting our eggs aside for the moment. We are going to make some egg food coloring. So, what we are going to need is a nice little container. Little container, not a big container, little container. We are going to need some of the hot boiling water. You are going to need about a quarter of a cup. Now, if you have like a little measuring cup instead of one of the big cups, feel free to use one of those. But you might need a grown up's help for this. I am a grown up, but I cannot help you through there. So grab your parental person and get them to help in pouring out a quarter cup of the hot boiling water into your container. Like so. And thank you, parent. Now, next, we are going to take the tea of the spoon and the vinegar of white. We are going to get a teaspoon of white vinegar and put it in the hot water like so. Now, I will probably admit that you might need to do this experiment outside because it might get a bit messy. <laughs> so, we've got the quarter of a cup of the hot boiling water, the teaspoon of the vinegar of the white. Lovely. So that is your base solution. Now, we are going to add some pretty colors. Pretty colors, pretty colors. So, grabbing of your food dye, we are going to 
make any of the pretty colors that you would like. Now, I already have two colors made up from previous, but I am going to make one color up here for you. I think I will go with the orange. So, normally they have instructions on how many drips to have. For orange, you need like five parts of the red and two parts of the yellow. So, I am going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of the red. And I am going to take the yellow. And I am going to go one, two, three. And I'm going to give it a mix to see what color it makes. It still looks a bit red. I might add a bit more yellow. So we now have an orangey looking color. So here I have orange, purple, and an aqua color. So here is a nifty little thing. If you just wanted to make some pretty little eggs by themselves, maybe some decorations for Easter, you can go ahead and take your egg and just leave it in the water for about three to five minutes or so, keeping an eye on it. And you can even do a double dip if you want. Dip one thing in and turn it around, dip it in another color. But we are not doing that boring thing at the moment, are we? So, We've got our pretty colors. Next, we are going to take our other containers. I have sticks here because I have three colors. We are going to open the bicarb of soda. Maybe not that way. Which, how, how do you open this thing? <laughs> It opened. Oh, there's a little stab thing here. Ah, I made mess. So, you are going to grab your teaspoon again. And now listen to this very carefully because you need measurements. You are going to need to take one. soda in each one. One, two, one, two. So you've got your nice little measurement of that because every teaspoon of the food diet you want two teaspoons of your coloring. So we're going to now because there is a bit of vinegar in your water, they may have a bit of a chemical reaction. So, we go put this one in there. Look at the pretty colors. <laughs> Look at the pretty colors. So, we are going to give this a bit of a stir. Might need to put another one. Because it's supposed to make a nice little paste. So we got a bit of a paste looking thing now. Like so. Now we're going to do that with the rest of them. This is where you get your paint brushes. It looks like icing, but don't eat it. It does not taste like icing. I learned from experience. That's an interesting color. <laughs> that would do. So now we've got a little pasty thing. Pasty, pasty. So we are done with this for the moment. 
the next thing we are going to take our eggs and we are going to pinch them da 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 di da da di whatever sort of patterns you would like that might need to be a bit more brighter There we go. Much better. Bed, 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 bed. I am Picasso. Bed, 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 bed. Bed, 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 bed. I told you this would get messy. Bed, 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 bed. Go back to this color. Bed, 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 bed. So you have a nice sort of covered egg. It is better to have stick, nice stick paint. Because the stick of the paste, the better the reaction. So don't be afraid to slather it on. Slather, slather. Orange. Orange, 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 orange. So, here is my masterpiece of a colorful egg. It is all over my fingers. I told you this would be messy. Now, we're going to set that aside over here. Worry about that with my wash hands. This is going to be interesting. Because next we are going to take our jar. We're going to take our jar. Then we get some more of the vinegar white. And we're going to. going to take our egg that we have nicely painted and what do you think comes next we are going to drop our egg in to the vinegar are you ready where are you that did not work i held it around the wrong way we go this way Ready? In three, two, one. Science! Science, 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 science. I told you it would be messy. I hope you did this outside and not in mother's kitchen. So, as you can see, the painted egg is having a chemical reaction with the vinegar due to the bicarb of the soda and the white vinegar. It go bees. But because we put food coloring, it may have also get an interesting result. I shoot a boat tongs. I am going to go see some whether I can find something to get it out. I need to see whether I can find some tongs. Do you have some tongs? Thank you, mother! You always have to test them. So give them a good few clicks. If they want to come out. Look, this is having an interesting reaction. So, 
we have established that the gunlocks do not work. So, I have put the rest of the water out of this one and we just go. I think I left it in the vinegar for too long. But you can see it started to. So maybe when doing this, get a bigger jar that you can reach into. <laughs> but that's okay. Science, it can have fails. Like Thomas Edison, who invented the light bulb. He was said to have failed to make a light bulb 200 times. But he himself said, I did not fail 200 times to making the light bulb. I learned 200 ways not to make a light bulb. So we shall just just keep on the swimming, yes? Like the fish. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. So we shall try again. I'm just going to use this container again because we've already seen how it goes. But luckily I had two eggs. So I have painted one side and left the one other side sort of bare so we can see what kind of change it happened. Are you ready again? Okay, ready? Always check if they work. As you can see, don't leave it in the vinegar too long. See, as you can see, so we learn not to leave in vinegar too long. If you leave in vinegar too long, it go like this, not the pretty colors, like this. So that is the side we painted, as you can see. Obviously my colors weren't bright enough, so you make very bright colors, as much as you can. Due to the chemical reaction of the bicarb soda paste that we made and the vinegar, the vinegar has eaten away just the bicarb part of it and left the coloring on the egg. But again, we do not leave it too long, otherwise it gets a bit too much of the leaving of the coloring. So now you have pretty Easter egg decoration. So as you can see, I may be Pablo Picasso, but I'm pretty sure there are people more artistic than I. And if you are so, maybe you can give some other pretty colors a try, like these ones. So, I hope you had fun in making the mess. <gasps> Sorry, mothers. Mabada. And making pretty Easter decorations too. And learning a bit about science and chemical reactions as well. So, this is me, Dr. Bansen Bana And with our very nice host, the fairy tales and the pirate tales, this is me saying goodbye and have a great Easter. Bye bye.